Hey everybody, I just had my first press pack. So I did get to talk to a political correspondent who works at the Parliament House, and his name is Steve Jenkins. So here's what he taught me. So what's it like working at Parliament House? Uh, it's a lot of fun most of the time. It's hectic, it's frenetic, um, you're busy a, a lot of the time. Um, one of the hardest things is just trying to get outside of the, the sound bite. Um, a lot of leaders have very, very pre-formulated answers. They know exactly what they want to say, they know exactly how they want to say it. Your job, or one of your jobs, is just to try and disrupt that in any way you can. So what's the best part of your job? Probably the fact that we get such unprecedented access to people who make the decisions that count. There's a lot of cynicism about politics and for good reason. People are increasingly disengaged. But to be able to walk straight up to anyone who makes decisions that do, when it comes down to it, have vast and really important influence over the lives of, of people all throughout Australia uh, is an immense privilege. And what's the hardest part? Um, holding back your frustration uh, <laughs> at deliberate attempts to evade questions, which is not an unusual sort of experience and it's not a unique one. Uh, both sides of politics clearly feel that the main thing they have to do is avoid making a huge mistake. That's fine, uh, that's understandable, uh, but when it stands in the way of genuine debate, when it stands in the way of an exchange of ideas and simply becomes a contest of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of messages that have been fine-tuned at the at the coalface of by pollsters and others, then the whole enterprise is a little bit less rewarding and it also loses uh, a lot of appeal to people. I think the car's going to come soon, but thank you so much for talking to me and the kids of BTN. Thank you. No worries, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.